Logan Paul once again. Controversial online figure that is Logan Paul. Kind of guy that gets everybody butt hurt, gets their butt lips all puckered and chafed. Just even thinking about the guy because, you know, what, whatever they think about the dude. I'm not to tell you whether you should like the guy or not. That's the beauty of wrestling. You can love or hate whoever you like. Me personally, I think him having the title is a good thing, but it does bring into question what I mentioned last week, and that is, what, what are we gonna see in terms of main titles on SmackDown now? Because if we're not gonna get much of Roman, and then Logan Paul is a part-timer too, then, you know, what are we gonna see with regards to titles, championships, belts, whatever you want to refer to them as, what are we going to see with regard to that on SmackDown? Now, again, I was just watching some WrestleMania and a bit of JD from NY's channel once again. Uh, shout out to those guys. But it was brought up that, I think it was brought up by JD from NY, in fact, that you would imagine that Logan Paul is signed to a contract for the big four at the very least. Well, that would include Survivor Series. So, let's presume, don't anybody get all but her if uh, by the way I'm bringing back but her but yeah let's presume that Logan Paul is gonna be at Survivor Series gonna be involved in some way so who might the potential person be well for me there's only one guy really who's in a spot to do that and that is LA Knight I mean he's the most over right now on Smackdown well, well who I don't know you tell me is anybody more over than LA Knight on Smackdown right now I don't think so so, you know, if we're not going to see Roman, then I would imagine that LA Knight's got a fur claim to this. Now, coming up on this week's SmackDown, it looks like he's got a match with Jimmy Uso. And, you know, Jimmy Uso is, is still a main player, you know what I mean? Um, I liked how Corey Graves started calling him the shot caller the other week. I thought that was a cool name for him, like, but he isn't much of a shot caller in the bloodline, so maybe it didn't fit, but I thought that was a cool name. So yeah, LA Knight's got this match coming up with Jimmy, and it looks like Jimmy might be a bit of a stepping stone for LA Knight, um, maybe to give him a big win, you know, because Jimmy's still, like I say, Jimmy is still a big player, even though the poor guy keeps getting put through tables and dropped on his head, in my opinion, Jimmy Uso is a player, he's a big time player on the scene, okay? So a win over him could put LA Knight right in line for a title picture. Look, to me, if, if Logan Paul is going to defend that title against somebody, it should be LA Knight, although I think the promos between these two would be great and we're kind of running out of time between now and Survivor Series for any kind of decent build between the two. So, you know, that could be a little bit disappointing on that front. So I hope you liked today's video. If you did like the video, please give me a subscribe and please give the video a like. That's if in fact you did like this video. But if you didn't like this video, you better learn to love it because it's the best thing going today.